I'm going to try to give a summary of everything we talked about. And I promise to save it as a YouTube link and send it to you. So the next time, if you found this helpful, the next time you're asked to give a talk, that you can refer back to it. Okay? So the first thing we talked about is the spirit. The spirit is the most important part about giving a talk. If the spirit shows up, if you can invite the spirit, success! <laughs> because the spirit communicates truth perfectly to everybody that's there. It makes us feel happy, peaceful, joyful, hopeful, grateful, all good things. We talked about talks that have invited the spirit because they were Christ-centered, because they were humble, because they were from genuine first-hand experience, because there was true doctrine shared and confirmed by the spirit. Um, the spirit showed up because the person was prepared and they prayed before. And then we talked about times where the talks did not fight the spirit, did not invite the spirit. Maybe they weren't Christ-centered. Maybe they just shared, didn't share a scripture. Okay. To give a super sacrament talk, it's pretty simple. Number one, you define your topic. We talked about getting your definitions from True to the Faith, from the church website, and from the Gospel Library. Number two, share an example or a story. We mentioned that a great place to find examples or stories is in church magazines. They're constantly sharing meaningful stories. Um, the, some of the best examples uh, of stories come from, did the Savior himself tell a story or a parable about that topic? Because if he did, every time it's good. You can't you can't get enough of those. And then lastly, but last but not least, is your own personal experiences. Okay. Number three is sharing scriptures. You can find scriptures on any topic from the topical guide. So the topical guide is in the Gospel Library app as well. And you can take a particular topic or a person. And the topical guide lists out a bunch of scriptures how to do with them. The great part about sharing scriptures that we talked about is that some people come to church that don't read their scriptures every day. So your talk might be the only scriptures they hear that week. And every time you share scripture, it's pure doctrine. So it can't go wrong. Number four would be a quote. You can find good quotes from a variety of places. We talked about teachings of the presence of the church, the church website. And in general, you can even Google LDS quote on faith whatever your topic is, and you can find some really good ones, okay? Number five is your testimony. Sharing your inner, most sacred beliefs or knowledge of spiritual things and Jesus Christ. And you can share your testimony, even if it's tithing. You can say, I don't have a lot of experience through tithing, but I believe in being obedient to God's commandments, and I believe that tithing is a way that God can bless us and teach us, okay? Number six, to invite them to say, hey, I really got a lot out of reading the last books of the Book of Mormon, the last chapters of the Book of Mormon about Moroni, and the things that he shared right before, right when he was all alone and scared. I invite you to read the last chapters of the Book of Mormon if you need a little reassurance that God is right there and that he'll never leave us alone. That's a simple little invitation. You're not saying, you, I challenge you to read the last books of the Book of Mormon. You can just say, I found good here, and it was encouraging to me. I invite you, if you could do some encouragement, to go read the same thing. So, topic, example, scripture, quote, testimony, and invite. The last tips that work for me is that the same day that I'm asked to give a talk, I like to start my shopping cart, which is an electronic copy of my talk, where I... It's a place for me to save my thoughts. I talk about it being a shopping cart because as I think and prepare about my talk, I'll find little things and I'll dump them in there in one place that I can get to. I like to do it electronically so that I can copy and paste in large stories or quotes. Then, every time I'm gonna work on my talk, even if it's only for a couple minutes, I promise you, I promise you, if you pray before you prepare and the Spirit gets involved, it'll be good. I also like to write down my very first thoughts because sometimes the thoughts I have in the first two days are my best ones. And I guarantee I won't remember them a week, two weeks, a month later. I got to stick them in my shopping cart if I can use them later. later. And then I like to gather. Um, and the final thing I like to do is I like to write my topic in the middle. <laughs> Super sacrament talk. That's what I did this time. I write my topic in the middle. And then I start drawing out of my shopping cart the ideas or the stories that I have. I put them around kind of in a circle. And then I choose kind of one, two, three, four. I choose the order in which I want to share them. So... I hope that that is in some way helpful to you. I 
know that you'll have opportunities to give sacrament talks. And I talked about a lot there, but really I hope you got a sense for the basics that it's very easy to invite the Spirit. And sometimes youth can do it better than adults. So I hope and pray that the Spirit will be with you the next time you have to give a talk. And you can certainly ask for help from your parents uh, or myself or a member of the bishopric. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 amen.